Hello guys, my name is Ivan, and welcome to a brief overview of battery buggy. So how does a battery buggy work? So a battery buggy is basically a battery powered vehicle capable of traveling a certain distance and stopping as close to the ending dot at that distance as possible. In this tournament, in 2019, participants will design a vehicle to travel between 9 to 12 meters and you want it to go as quickly as possible so how does it work the battery buggy works by having a motor which you can see is back here and then the motor is attached to a gear and then this gear runs this gear right here this one and then the gear basically turns the axle which I believe in this picture, which turns this axle, which is attached to the wheel. And same thing for uh, the wheel over here. So you have the axle turning on the back and then this front wheel over here is basically just f for balancing purposes. And what you also have for it to stop is you have I believe here there's a thread here and I'll talk about the timing of that later so at the competition um, your track will be 9 to 12 meters which is which will be specified there so from here to around here so 9 to 12 meters and um, when you go in about from 0 0.5, so say this is 0 0.5 meters in, there will be a line of tape here. And then 8.5 meters in, which is approximate here, there will be a line of tape. And then there will most likely, they have these two lines of tape, this for timing purposes. And yeah, so this is the track for a regular run if you're not going for the bonus which i'll talk about the bonus later so construction your battery buggy may not be wider than 30 centimeters or longer than 60 centimeters it must fit in like a box that will be that dimensions however axles and other parts may extend beyond but the wheels must say inside the 30 60 centimeter box then, and in addition, you need a 1 fourth inch dowel about at the front of your vehicle. And it basically has to be perpendicular to the floor and it will be used for timing. It has to be 20 centimeters off the ground and 1 centimeter from the floor. So what I'm going to assume is if you have like a thing here and you have your dowel, it has to extend 20 centimeters off the floor and say this is the floor this has to be less than one centimeter for measuring purposes and in addition to that um your dowel holding device which i drew which is basically that thing um it may not be more than five centimeter. My bad, five millimeters off here. So this distance right here, which let me just redraw it. That was a relatively bad picture. So this distance must be less than zero point five centimeters or five millimeters. So the materials you can use for the body, you can use wood, metal, styrofoam, whatever works, whatever you have available, but probably the best would like be like wood or metal. And axles, you can use dowels, except that'll make a lot of friction. So you probably want to use metal rods that you can probably buy at any store. Wheels, you can use CDs, plastic wheels, and so what you would do normally, as I see most people do, is they put rubber bands around their wheels, or you can 3D print your own wheels. Motors, you can use toy truck motors, fan motors, 
quad motors. Most people just use one motor and then use a gear, gear it up to turn the axle. So you're only turning the wheels in the back and the front wheels are just rolling. And batteries, you can't use lead or lithium. And I'm not sure if you can use an IMH or not. So if you wanna be safe, just don't use that. And you probably wanna use AA batteries. And the rules say here around, you can have at a max of eight, 1.2 to 1.5 volt AA batteries. And you can get a holder, like four or eight or two battery holders. And except you just have to have the labels visible to the supervisor and you can take the batteries out. You want the dial for timing and gears for motor. Scoring, what they will do, it's your run time plus two times your distance time plus the bonus plus penalties. And you want to get the lowest score possible. So let's say you had a run time of uh, five seconds and your distance was five centimeters. I'm just using whole numbers because it's easier. And your bonus, you got negative 20. I will explain the bonus scoring later. And penalties say you got none. So you would just do five plus two times five my, uh, plus negative 20 uh, plus zero. So that would give you um, a total score of negative five. So bonus run, what they will let you do is say you have the track. This is the center. They will have an imaginary line here. And then they'll place a, a can, which it's specifications. If you let me see. Diameters of seven to eight centimeters and a height greater than 10.5 centimeters. Standing upright, of course, which is that. Standing upright, it will be exactly one meter. So this is one meter away from the center. <clears throat> and they will have another can. They will have another can where you can uh, put it anywhere between here to here or to one meter this way. And then what you would do is you try and have your buggy go like curve around this and go there. So the scoring will be um, negative 0 0.5 multiplied by 110 minus the distance between these cans. So say you put your cans like that and it was 40 centimeters and your buggy successfully went in between them. So it'd be 110 minus 40, which is 70. 70 times negative 0 0.5 would be negative 35. So your bonus score would be negative 35. That's how it works. I hope that was clear. So timing, this is one method of course there's other methods, but I still believe that you can't have anything but your wheels touching the floor. So this is probably one of the easier ways to do it. So basically what it does, it's shown in this diagram. You have your axle rotating with your motor probably situated here. That's spinning and connected to batteries. Let's just do it like that. Sorry for the bad drawing. Um, and then what you would do is you have a thread here with a thread rod preventing it from rotating. And then, so basically once the thread hits the end here, the wheels stop and basically your car stops. However, this year what you want to do is you probably want to put a momentary switch at the end right where the circle is, like right there. So when this rod hits the switch, it shuts off this power supply. Of course, this isn't drawn in a circuit diagram, but you would put there and then you would wire the switch in between one of the wires. And so that's basically what would make it stop. Since in the rules this year, you have to make the motor stop when it comes to a complete stop or else it's a violation. 
and in addition you have to use a switch so you have to have a switch probably this would not work most likely want a button switch to use a pencil to press this and then to start your buggy so you would have to have two switches in your circuit and I'm not going to draw the circuit diagram here so since you have to move your pencil in a perpendicular motion to the floor so most ideal would be using a button switch I don't know how you would move it perpendicular using a flip switch so here's one thing that I've noticed throughout doing tech events you have to test test and test now this is my first year doing buggy but I've done other tech events and like you just have to test test and calibrate and calibrate one thing I've noticed your first design might not work your second design may also not work your third design might come close you might have to build a fourth fifth sixth and so on to perfect your ideas and in addition you need a practice log which will be specified more in the rules if you read the rules except I can explain it here for you guys what you have to do is you have to record at least 10 practice runs so you want 10 practice runs with one varying factor so let's say it's when you have your rod it's where you put your thread like maybe you put it here or you put it here or here or here or there that may be a varying factor and then you see the distance the change in distance and that's it so thanks for watching and be sure to check out my other videos i will be uploading more science olympiad tech event videos and others so thank you.